Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get into this reaction on My Jazzy Life. Before we do, please hit the thumbs up on your way in. Now Jazz went live yesterday and she was begging for money within the first five minutes of the live, okay? She let us know that Chris cheated and Jazz basically called Legend a mistake. She also said that Chris did not pay his portion of January's rent. Jazz also says she's two car payments behind, all right? She mentioned that she didn't have money to feed her kids, and that's why they were over to Mr. Predator's house. Jazz said that she is broken, and she kept saying, I love him so much. Girl, F that nigga. He did you dirty, and he basically dragged his nuts across your forehead. Now, Jazz, you knew Chris had a pattern of impregnating women and leaving them, but you ignored it, and you actually supported it. Jazz also says she was the co-signer to his vehicle that he used to drive right out of her boring, pathetic life. Now, Jazz, if you knew your bills needed to be paid, why weren't you putting up content? She says she loves Chris more than she loves herself. She also said the girl who Chris is cheating with is a viewer. Okay, that was weird. Jazz said that Chris is going to hate her for going live and that he threatened her with calling CPS if she went live and told her audience about him treating her like complete shit. She says she knows that a baby doesn't keep a man, but Jazz, you sure didn't act like it because as soon as you got Chris in that house, as soon as he set those hats down, you went and made a baby with him. Now, Chris may not have come out and said, Jazz, get an abortion. But you knew he didn't want any more kids because he told you and he told your audience on the infamous Yellow Romper live stream. See, Jasmine, you forget the lies you told. Remember, we have the text messages to back it up. I have it in a short, Jasmine. Let's not play these games. All right. Now, Chris is nothing but a balding, broke, fat, punk ass, dead beat pathetic ass baby daddy that's what he is he's a no good ninja now what you should have done is got rid of chris a long time ago everyone was asking you down in your chat or saying to you to file child support and you kept saying we have an arrangement what's the arrangement the nigga ain't even give you the money for the rent money so how you gonna have an arrangement with child support dummy jazz you're in an alternate reality you're not living down here on earth with the rest of us. Okay, we just started out in 2024 and it's already a shit show. You started off your New Year's broke, broke down and begging for coins. Once Chris blocked you, that was it. Your two car payments behind and the rent was coming due. Short by 500 and some dollars and he has you in there with his baby, his son allegedly, with no food in your house. What the fuck happened to your food stamps? Does Chris have your food stamp card, Jazz? But you know what, Jazz? You brought all this shit on yourself. This is what happens when you think child support is a scam. This is what happens when you love a man more than yourself. This is what happens when a big, bald, broke, child-bearing hips-ass ninja comes into your life with absolutely nothing to bring to the table. Cheating on you, beating on you, allegedly hitting your kids, treating your kids like crap, treating his own kids like crap. Jazz, this is what happens when you back a nigga up by literally co-signing him, not taking care of his goddamn kids. His own flesh and blood. What type of fuckery is that? Jazz says the official breakup was in December. But I'm not sure if I believe that. Once he told you to remove him from all of your platforms, duh, duh, he doesn't want his side piece, or maybe you're the side piece, to think that he's still with you, Jazz. What part of this don't you understand? Didn't you learn your lesson with Philip? Okay, you said it was so much ish that you can bash him with. Well, spill the goddamn tea. We're waiting. We're waiting, sis. 
Okay. Jazz, I suggest you take that Amazon kinesiology degree and get a job and get your ass off this internet. Because it ain't working, sis. It ain't working for you. You're embarrassing yourself. All right. It was also embarrassing that two, three X size people were sleeping in a full size bed. How was that even happening? You're out here making yourself look really desperate. Take some accountability, Jasmine. You moved the nigga in with no job and no money. He had three baby mothers that he left before you. Red flag. Three red flags. You got Medusa saying he hasn't even seen her daughter in 10 years. What more did you need? Did you need a sign on his forehead saying, I'm a bum? I'm a loser and I don't pay child support? Is that what you needed? Okay, look, guys. I'm done for now. That's all I have for this one. Please hit the thumbs up on your way out and I'll see you guys on the next one.